<clears throat> I'm Mark Henry with Mississippi State Extension Service. I work for in the irrigation department and today we're going to talk about uh, surge valves and how to set up a surge valve. Uh, what they do have, uh, there is faucet, an older program, and then Delta Plastics has developed Pipe Planner. And Pipe Planner is a very good tool and very simple to use. Um, a lot of misconceptions with surge valves is that they, uh, a farmer will get it, he will want to take and put it on two fields instead of one field. Uh, if your fields are small enough, that's good, but that's not exactly how it really needs to work. Uh, I've set a field up over here on 36 acres and we, it takes 27 hours to put out three acre inches of water on it. Uh, my riser is in the corner, uh, the upper right corner, the northeast corner of the field and there is a, a run that runs south from there and then a run that runs west and waters a lot of point rows breaking it at the riser, which is the best place, by the way, to hook up a surge valve, is where I want to break it up, and that will break the field in 67% will be watered on one side of the surge valve, and 33% will be watered on the other side of the surge valve. So I'll actually be watering 24 acres on one side and 12 acres on the other side. That's right. Um, so just a little bit on how to set the surge valve up is we'll turn it on and it shows you running time and we'll go to the advanced cycle and the advanced cycle is what you want to set that's how long you actually think it's going to take you to get water through the field and, and keep in mind that when you take all the water from the field that you normally were doing and put it into one side of the field or the other side of the field you're increasing your pressures and you're going to be able to walk through the field a lot faster than if you were actually irrigating the field as one run. So we will have to set it up. Uh, this particular run, and the reason I chose this field is it's not a 50-50 split. Um, we'll have 33% of the field will be watered uh, and on one setting and 67% will be watered on the other. The program, will it will automatically program that once we customize it. Um, and in order to do that customization, you just hit the custom button and go in and it's, you'll see cycles. Uh, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but we want our left and right side. The surge valve will be plugged into your riser, which is the best place to plug your, your surge valve into, uh, as opposed to hook, hooking it to poly pipe. Hooking it to poly pipe with it moving, it wants to move when it makes changes and it'll come loose. We've, we've done it, we've used T-Post, we've used different things, and you can make it work, but you're, you're subject to it giving away in the middle of the night and you're not knowing about it till the next morning. So we just recommend hooking it into the riser itself. Um, you've got a left and a right side. Uh, our left side is going to be, let's open it back up. Our left side is going to be 33%, so I'm going to lower the valve, the, the percentage. I'm good to go on that. Now we'll go to our advanced time, and walking it down, it's going to take, I don't know, you have to play with this to see. Uh, in our total time to irrigate is 27 acres, so we probably can do we can probably do an 18 hour advance cycle and get to the tail ditch, which that's what you want to do. And I'm going to set my advance time on 18 hours. And this is the one time and the one part that you really have to, you have to watch your water. Uh, your first time you irrigate, you need to see when your water gets to the tail ditch. It's, and I know that, that that takes a little time, but if if you'll spend that time to do it, you'll have a you you'll have a worry-free setup after that because you'll know it takes 16 hours or 18 or 19 hours to get to the tail ditch. So once you set that up, you can come in and change this setting. If if you go to your tail ditch after 18 hours or, or after, I, I generally start checking it about 15 hours, 
and you you go to there and you say it's not there or it's there you can go ahead and change it into the change your time back and adjust now once the advanced time passes if you pass that 18 hours and it goes into soak cycle you cannot you cannot make any changes at that point you have to either turn it off and not irrigate and wait for the next time or go ahead and let it go through its soak cycle and change it the next time uh, but you cannot go back and change it but you can make changes while it's in the advanced cycle and it automatically once you set it to an advanced cycle it automatically puts you in your soak mode and you can even make changes in your soak mode because what you want for your soak cycle is you want that water to get from the from the head of the field top of the field to the bottom of the field and it, it'll tell like right here it's told me that it's going to take um, uh, on the short side it's going to take 53 minutes from that water to leave the top of the field to get down to the tail ditch you can come you can go down and check that and you can make changes to that if it takes if it takes 40 minutes or if it takes 60 minutes you can change that time on here just by pushing these these buttons so if I wanted to change my cycle I can move it up to 60 minutes say it took an hour and I can I can do that uh, and by the same at the same time it also moves both sides at the same time but uh, by it not being 50 percent it's not moving it 50 50 it's moving it a percentage to 67 to 33 percent and then it will go into the soak cycle and soak for that long until you turn it off till you turn the well off uh, if you're supposed to water 27 hours and you set up for 18 and you get to the field in 18 hours you let it soak for another nine hours and then you come turn it off turn your well off and turn the, uh, the surge valve off if you don't turn the surge valve off it will continue in the soak cycle just flopping back and forth uh, which is fine but, but and you have to turn it off before you start the next irrigation one more thing I'd like to talk to you about that's pretty important is it, on whatever soil type you're on like for this instance here if you're on a ceiling sand or a, uh, silt loam that you have good filtration um, when you set your advanced cycle and your soak cycle up there are it runs in so many cycles and then it stops um, we we use it to in those type of situations you want it to go into soak cycle so for here you're going to run six cycles on your advanced time and then you've got well four cycles because it's six minus two on here and that's that's the way it automatically programs in but if you're on a clay heavy clay you don't want any soak cycle so you're going to go to your custom button and you're going to go to see, cycles on your custom button and you're going to go to your plus or minus and you're going to take away all of your cycles to where you have six cycles and it's going to run six cycles on your on your field and when you get to the tail ditch you will be done